Now what y'all finna hear is an update on what we been on as of late. Congratulations, this is your late registration. Almost dies. I'm not scared of death, but I will be remembered, and what I say while I'm here will help people forever. I guess the project started itself for, started with Common turning down beats. I just didn't feel the rawness of it, but I mean, I'm trying, I'm gonna be the compromise because Kanye know what the hell he doing. It ain't one of them songs, if you produce it up, it ain't gonna become a, a hit joint or a bigger song. None of that. It ain't gonna sound better. I understand what you're saying. I guess he just wasn't really feeling it, and I remember just, I started murmuring stuff. I had a couple lines, so I just went into the studio. I don't agree up, we up, I do agree up, I re up, we up, we up, we up, we up, we up, we up. I feel like when you go in and you make your raps up without writing them down, you can connect with the beat more. I get nine, I don't know, the time I'm coming over, cause I lie. The thing is, the words literally don't make sense, but the feeling makes all the sense in the world. Common is, you know, such a, a humble dude that he didn't even tell people that he doesn't write his rhymes down. He doesn't even use it to stunt. Like any and everything that I do good, I was stuck with. For me, when I start working on a beat and sampling everything, sometimes I'll just take a couple days and just listen to samples. And it'll be funny because it'll be like Puffy or somebody. And I'll be working on this project and he comes in and I'm sitting up here watching TV, listening to music for a couple of days. Like, what are you doing, fam? Hey, I'm working. Once a classic, this is what a sample is worth. The original song and a classic, a true classic being made out of it. Out of it. Can I have some more hint? And then, like, when I turn around and make the beat, I'll make the beat, like, in 15 minutes or something, like, I'll just chop it all up, like, I'm ill with the chops. In hip-hop, we always talk about, you know, you bite, you bite my style, you bite everything that I did, blah, blah, blah. But hip-hop itself is based off of bite. It's based off of taking segments of people's music and then taking something that someone said on the street and taking this pattern right here and then taking this. Like, I'll do something like loop up something that someone took mad years to learn how to play instruments and all this type of stuff. But one of the fundamentals of hip-hop is biting. You know the difference in being a Grammy Award winning artist and just like a rapper? You know, being a rapper is like you just got a sample of James Bond. But this is like Kanye is, has a Shirley Bassey sample. It's like it's it's an event in itself to somebody. Yeah. John Bryan, who co-produced everything, definitely changed my life. I still we can't say no. I'm still thinking about rewriting it because crack music. I, I touched on a little bit of that on, on Can't Say No. He didn't call any labels or anything like that. He just started working on the project right there. And just thinking, okay, well, we'll let the lawyers clean up the mess. But we have to be creative. This energy, this thing needs to happen right now. This is an emergency. And she claims she only with me for the currency. You cut me deep, you cut me like surgery. And I was too proud to admit that it was hurting me. There is a, something really delightful about seeing a piece of written music that says crack music on it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's as good as it gets. Where is your Beethoven now?
music, we got a lot of variations on the basic thing. The guys doubled on flugelhorn, the thing. But once again, that was oh, they doubled the flugel. Flat. Yeah, oh. it's awesome. Um, and then there's one section with it in harmony, simple <laughs> two-part harmony. And then there's one section. I remember with... I doubled the flugel back in high school. <laughs> <laughs> to say it simply, he wants you to feel the music. And that's like me. I want you to feel the music. Don't be afraid to scratch out any line that doesn't illuminate your subject. I just love that. It's like, man, just look at it. Be hard on yourself and go, does this tell people more about what I want them to know? What I see, you know, you get to hear. It's like if a painter had a super ill piece in his head. I'm trying to describe it out. Really, I, I describe it with the music. I see how round the kick drum is. I see how dark the bass line is. I see the volume. If something is really loud, say if it's an instrument that's red, for instance. And when I mean red, I don't mean red meaning in real life. I'm talking about the colors that the sound makes that I see in my head. Well, hey, Mama, I wrote that back in 2000 originally. <laughs> <laughs> If you see somebody that's really hot and really talented, you take that energy. See, you use them. And it's two different things. Uh -huh. What would you say with this stuff? I don't know. Maybe I'll see what happens. Yeah. To build off of that. Like, can you sing like the high notes for like. Air. Well, I was going to say like more. Like loud. Loud. All right. All right, so I need to make more tracks. Or... And I love you saying that because the word use has such a negative connotation, but not really, it's misusing because it's a give and take. Tony is just, he's really, he's really got it. He's a, uh, a great writer. He's got a very ill, cutting edge voice. And he brought a whole new energy to his album. We're doing this part right here. And he wants this kind of vibe of See him often Get across when forgetting Where the heck got met ya And try to bring and Try to bring me down Okay, I got it all right, got a calling. I let all in, forgetting where some get work at ya And try to bring me down hey. Yes, double F I'd rather fear you than hear you any day Oh, yo, you gotta put Jamie on this joint, the Ray joint. Yes, is a kind of friend and me. Yeah, right. That's what I'm, I want you to do. I just want you to do like basically, basically a double. Yeah. Uh, eh, eh, yeah, man. She got me money when I'm in need. Yes, is a kind of friend and me. I got a woman way over town. That's good to me. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, talk about it. The whole energy with coming off of the Oscars and me coming off of the Grammys and having that song out for the summer. All I can say is God is good and he just times things. This is the Grammy book that got me on the cover? Yeah. <laughs> right.
You see why we did that million the first week? Don has to do more work than me, I think. You see the work he put in? Let's keep in close touch tomorrow. Yeah, no, I'm hyping. What Let's I'm going to try to work out is that we come back from the video and just be here. Do it. But we this weekend, I want him to knock out record. I don't want to have to go back to the record plan after this weekend, I hope. I think that would I be great. I want him to just work over there, get all these drinks recorded, and then we're, we're done the record plan. We're fine. We're fine. We're right. this off. We'll wrap tomorrow. Okay, we'll talk next. What's going on is that what I am performing is not, it's worth way more than what they're offering. The promoter. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> 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 the music is in the building. But this time, it's like a bunch of shooting all of the whole area. It's his section. So, but you gotta be real aggressive. You try to, you know, be right on track. And aggressively, I'm right, gonna have people off. But it's cool, though. And it's crazy, but it's cool. white guy staff. My engineer, we call him, his name is Anthony. We call him Tyrone. Just because, you know, we don't know any white guys named Tyrone. I heard so many white people say, it's like, you know, it's just, and because whenever they describe my album, it's always saying it's juxtaposed or something else. I don't even know what does it mean. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it was funny to us. <laughs> well, you know that's Tyrone. You know? <laughs> we all came up together. Pat, he had this administration job, and then he like just took interest into this project. He's like, "Yo, he's kind of dope." You know, don't put the camera in the legal issues part, man. Taking control of the situation, Griffin came in and definitely killed the common video on the corner. You know, I can just appreciate anybody that has attention to detail and is on top of their. You know, anything that you do, just be the best. So what do you say, man? What can go on? You can't go here, right? Just like you got to get Money goes into my piggy bank. And then my songs is just like mad, like pro black political songs. Yeah. <laughs> like this room, really wants to sing the chorus. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's to the music is the style. say yo what do you think of course i'm gonna be talking to you with the the gucci shirt with the l butter e saint laurent leather with the sleeves rolled up why why wouldn't i when i was coming up there he's like yo man don't nobody get it okay. 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 I knew a lot of talented people, and I figured I could use my name to build a label that would allow them to get out their dreams. I remember Jay told me, I was like, man, can I have a shot one with like you and Dave? He said, man, dog, you should make your own dynasty. Really, though, for instance, brings in a totally new energy. 
Whether you in class or the school of hard knocks. What about that? Whether you in class or the school of hard knocks. We can probably think of something more creative right there. They said, because you know I'll be trying to bring in the thread of the album. Oh, yeah. Late registration, yeah. The way he is is still connected to the streets and the struggle and having to like pay his rent. Turn something to nothing, that pippin' that's a savior. Best things are green, that pippin' get your paper. High off the ground instead of skyscraper. Cool out, thinking we local. Come on, homie, we major. I can't sign every talented person in the world, and every talented person in the world is not going to get their shot. But the ones I do run into, I just provide them the opportunity. The, the bus boy came in the room, talking about he had an idea. He was about 54. He was the bus boy. He said, man, I got an idea. It's going to really like make a lot of money. Oh, okay. The movement is called Freaky Hot, and all I need is Snoop Dogg, Kanye West, and uh, Nelly. You know, we're mad, like, fun to be around. Like, I would want to be around us. Like window shop, you know, like walking on like Park Avenue, like checking out. All right, well, yeah, I'm window shopping the LA face. Like, you're probably pissed off now. That's what you call it. I'm window shopping like at least seven times. Let's go ahead and cut the chat. No need to worry, you gon' get your money back. Now twice that's called again, believe me, that's a fact. Anyone in business with me is town sex. You can ask me to be all out like the man. The market folk of my fees of 35%. So call Andre Harrell and tell them how you're working with. It's like I'm on this hunt to find the best musicians we can find. You know how I get when I have my timbales. Today. The first one I erased because I started rapping on it. It was terrible. And I was like, it just can't go out. <laughs> <laughs> but I had the rhythm, though. I had the rhythm. You know when like, you call a girl and like you erase your message and like, yeah. so you get the perfect... Oh, you know you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to be too, like... You don't want to be too, like, superstar. Like, I'm just calling it. Like, <laughs> season begins monday the 18th i'm dropping my new single diamonds are forever i love diamonds this is something this is the type of music that i want to make what made hard knock life so big it's the same thing the sample speaks to people in a different kind of way that rap can't even reach the sample is so much bigger than me and that's it Next I'm thinking about the history of music. I'm thinking about where's my place in history. And I want it to mean something to somebody. I want people to say, just like Kanye, 20 years from now. Because when you say Stevie, it means something. I mean, it's basically, you know, songs in the key of life era. Okay. Stevie, and that's kind of a touchstone for both of us. So. Stevie. You know, you could say that his name is so synonymous with being so outstanding. Hey, can I say 
Things interrupt, but I guess we'll have to turn off Stevie.